Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Max Klinkby and uh, today my vlog is going to be about my uh, first race weekend at the Danish Thundersport Championship. Um, it's going to be slightly different because uh, I, uh, well today is actually Tuesday and I'm back from the racing weekend uh, at home. I'm in my Scirocco um, but I wanted to do a quick introduction on um, on what the weekend was like because during race day on Sunday, I'm afraid I wasn't able to film uh, that much um, personally. I got a friend to help me a little bit with the filming, and he was able to film some of the uh, action in between races, etc. But I was so busy with the with the races and you know focusing from, on what I had to had to do that I am afraid I wasn't able to film at all, really, to be honest. So yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but I'm going to try and uh, address some of the stuff that I want that I've I've you know, some of my thought process that I've had during the weekend. And um, I was able to do a little bit of filming during Saturday after qualifying. And um, yeah, so basically this this vlog is going to be about um, what I think of the uh, of the weekend, how I think it went, and then I'll show you guys a few clips from the weekend and uh, race day on Sunday. and welcome back. Today was my debut in the Danish Thundersport Championship Series um, where the first two practices went very well. Uh, the speed was, was, was quite good but I actually still had a, a, bit, of t a bit of time to find uh, personally. Uh, the team has worked a lot with me and how to drive uh, this car because obviously it's a big difference from what I was driving last year and I need to adapt my driving style to this car. So. Yes, and then qualifying came up uh, this afternoon, and that went very, very well. We were able to uh, finish third in qualifying, so we're starting third for tomorrow. And uh, we're very, very pleased with that, obviously. It's my debut, and uh, of a grid of 22 cars, I think it's very, very good. So, yes, we're extremely happy with it. But, um, yeah, tomorrow's an exciting day. All the races are tomorrow, so we're going to be fighting for uh, as good a result as possible. Stay tuned. For a distant star Don't stop now Isn't it strange to have a safe and home? To the link out in days until a second go If you're gonna make a change you have to let me know Turn the shit around just out of top the notes Cause all you need to do 
It was a massive challenge that was ahead of me. I had Jan Magnussen in front of me, I had uh, my teammate Lasse Sorensen next to me, and then a group of 20 odd cars behind me. So, you know, it was a, it was a big challenge for me to, to maintain position, um, you know, as my first race. So as the race went along, I'm afraid I dropped back to ninth because I did, I did make a few driver errors. I was pushed around a little bit, which I think is fair enough. I was, you know, um, I wasn't quite tough enough on my first race, but you know, it's a learning process. In the second race, I was going to start ninth because I finished ninth and I was able to get my way back all the way up to uh, fourth. So that was really, really good. And the pace as well was, was very good. Still, again, I'm afraid I did make a few uh, small errors as a driver, but I'm still getting used to the car and I think it's uh, progressing very well. The team have done ama an amazing job at preparing the car and preparing me for, for the huge task of you know, being a part of the Danish Thundersport Championship. They've helped me a lot um, on how to drive the car, how to race the car, and that's definitely put me in a position where we've been able to be competitive all weekend, so big, big, big thanks for them. I'm afraid my teammate had a massive, massive crash in race two. He was, uh, there was one car in between him and myself, he was in front of me, and he had a brake failure uh, doing 100 and approximately 170 kilometers an hour, and his car rolled when he was doing 163 kilometers an hour, we could see on the data and he went straight uh, into the wall. He's, he's luckily fine, but I'll show you a quick clip of the crash now. As you can see, the crash is serious and it doesn't look like his car is um, is going to be able to be repaired. So they are likely going to be using my car for the next race because I won't be doing that race anyway. So I think that's great that he's going to be out again. The third race, I was going to be starting fifth um, for the third, third race, which was also the final. And uh, I was in fifth uh, for basically the entire race. I was actually able to stay on to the back of, of a few of the other drivers, which was really, really good. Um, the pace was, was good as well. So, um, yeah, the only problem was that I'm afraid um, three laps from the end of the race, uh, my gearbox uh, broke and I lost second gear. So it was basically, I was only able to, to go around the track in, in third. And that really did uh, ruin my race. I had to pit in the end uh, after a lap in third because um, we were worried about destroying the, the gearbox you know, even further. So a bit of a, a disappointing end to a really, really good weekend. I learned a lot and uh, it, was, uh, it was really good for me to to have my debut in, Danish, in the Danish Thundersport Championship. If I seem a little bit annoyed, it's not because I'm annoyed, it's just because it's been a, it's been a really long weekend in a very, very good way. I've had so many nice, um, so many awesome experiences, so many learning experiences, and I've had uh, so many nice comments from people coming up and saying that I've done a good job, which is always really, really nice, and many, many supporters. So that's really, really good. Um, but I'm just a little bit tired, because obviously, you know, you have a lot of thoughts going through your mind during such a race weekend. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Max Klinkby, my YouTube channel, and uh, stay tuned for more videos to come, both on the Scirocco, I have a Golf GTI review coming up, and more Max Motorport vlogs. Thank you guys, see you soon.